Activator is a uh, plugin available for free through the Cydia store uh, that has no icon. Uh, it has a it acts as an extension in the in the um, settings application over under extensions. You see, it's the very first one here on the left. If I click that, it'll give me my options here. So what Activator does. It allows you to activate a function or an icon or application, I'm sorry, by um, doing a series of uh, swipes or button presses. Uh, and you can have uh, act, uh, things be activated from anywhere, from the home screen while you're in the application, or at the lock screen. Okay? And how it works is simply this. Um, Let's take, for instance, I have one that can be activated from anywhere. And, and you see all the options. You can be the headset button, the home button, the lock screen, motion, power, sleep, sliding gestures, etc. I'm going to, uh, I have one set up with the volume buttons, uh, both press. And so if I click this, you'll see what I have, what action will take place when I press both the action buttons. You see it says take screenshot. So if I press both my up volume button and my down volume button, it will take a screenshot. Okay? That's one that can happen anywhere, so it doesn't matter what application I'm in or what screen I'm on. I also have some on the at home screen, and I have some sliding, uh, I'm sorry, some, some uh, gestures here. Uh, if I have to remember where I got it, uh, is uh, right here. Springboard. So on the springboard, you have the option to do a icon pinch and an icon spread. So as you see, it says look for the icon pinch, pinch springboard icons with two fingers. So when I'm on the screen, this is the springboard screen. If I touch the screen and squeeze my fingers together, it will launch a certain thing. If I touch the screen and spread them apart, it'll do yet another thing. So let me just go into another application. Uh, I'm sorry. If I go, I'll squeeze my fingers together. That brings up my settings screen. Okay. And since I was already in, the settings screen is going to crash. Um, because I have my multi-flow going and it previously had the setting screen there. So let me just close out these things that are running. And I found sometimes that if, if it's crashed and you don't go into another application, then it just ignores that. So I'll just go into another application just to free that up. And now if I squeeze my fingers together on the screen, it brings up the settings. I'll close that screen, switch back over to my mail program, and now if I spread my fingers apart on the screen, it'll bring up yet another application. Okay? So you can dictate what you want to happen when you do those particular actions. Again, that's called Activator, and it's normally downloaded automatically with other um, programs. Poof is a very useful app. What it uh, lets you do is high applications. It could be a, uh, a app that's inappropriate for kids. If this is a uh, a device that's owned by your company, you may want to you know, high, you know, religious-based apps or, you know, whatever the case uh, could be, you decide which apps you don't want to show up on your home screen. And how it works is there is a uh, application called Poof that you download from the City of Store. It is free. It's an iPhone uh, application but works on the iPad, so, you know, it looks uh, not as pretty as a normal 
iPad app will look. But proof itself is hidden, so you have to, uh, you can or cannot hide it. It makes sense to hide it so people can't unproof your things. Uh, but you load up the application, and it will give you a list of icons, a list of applications, and you simply turn off the applications that you don't want to be synced. So here's a list you can see. I have one that's off called the Kama Sutra. And if I scroll through the list, there's not a whole lot that I need to hide. A lot of times I hide the, you know, the games that are more violent from the kids. Um, I just hadn't done those again since um, I upgraded to the newest version. But let's say I hide the City app here. So I find all the list and I turn it off. And when I exit to the to the screen, you see Cydia in the tray there. You see it just disappeared. Poof, it's gone. I wanted to come back. I simply go back to the application. Right, so let's go back to the search screen. Hit poof. Uh, locate that application in the list and turn it back on and it will show up. So it's a very useful application to keep things uh, out of view. Uh, if you want to find them, you simply have to search for them in order to gain access to a hidden application. So there's Cydia. Let's turn it back on. Exit the app. Give it a couple of seconds and poof, your app is back. Poof, available for free in the Cydia store. Search for it today. Next application is called Tab Plus, and it is a modification for the Safari browser. And the Safari browser normally has nine tabs that you can have set as shortcuts, so you can quickly go between you know websites. With the Tab Plus, it gives you much more than nine so you can open up as many screens as you want and it'll just keep adding to the list of tabs that you have available need another one just open up another one okay just that simple tab plus there's no icon for it it's free in the city of store and allows you to open up as many tabs as you like in Safari. SPS Settings is a helpful app that allows you to have access to a certain iPod, iPad settings. So in my case I have it set to launch it by default as it launched if you swipe your finger up in the status bar area you'll have access to these these apps in this case the red means off green means on so you see display out is on just make this zoom in a little closer on this for you so you see there you have bluetooth brightness fast notes location processes wi-fi airplane mode display out you can respring it, power it down, and you have you know a lot more options. You also see you have the IP address and things of that nature, how much memory is memory is still available. So quite a few options that are, are available through this application. And they're all quickly accessible from that tool. So whenever you want to change brightness. You click on that particular icon and you see you have your slider. And you can and you can change the brightness. Now the brightness is not showing up too good on, on the monitor, it's not affecting that, but here on the iPad it is. But again, whenever you want it, you just swipe, it comes up when you want to make it go away, you hit the X. SPS settings.